Hi, this is a quick introduction to my uh, 2015 Hackaday contest entry. It's a USB key authenticator. Still work in progress, but this is as far as I've got, so I thought I'd uh, show you where I am and uh, what it is still to do. So what is it? It is a, a second factor authentication device. We've, we've seen things like this, the, the gold PayPal uh, football, which gives you a number that you need to enter into the website to, to log in. Uh, it keeps changing, so if you do that in the next 20 seconds and know my password, you can log in. Nope. No, I think time's up, time's up. Right, uh, but what, what would be nice, as opposed to having to type that in each time, if it did it automatically? M much like this, this is a Uber key, uh, and you put it in your computer, press the button, and you can use that to authenticate with, with the Uber key services to check that that is the key. But it's not very open. You can't use it on any site, not without having to spend a fortune on these things, and uh, it's, it's not very uh, open and accessible. So uh, this is where Google came in, because Google created this. This is the uh, Google Authenticator. This uh, is a piece of software that runs on most phones. Again, it changes the number every 30 seconds, but you can use it. You could use it with Google, but you can also use it with your own site, and you can use it with a number of other services. DigitalOcean, I think, is the biggest one using it at the minute, but there's a lot of people out there doing it, and hopefully there will be more as well. So what this does is it does the same as the YubiKey, but with the... Google Authenticator protocol. There's a spe shared uh, secret. When I press the button, it enters the number in as if it was typed in by hand off the uh, screen of the phone. Right, well, let's give this an uh, a demonstration. Uh, if we look here, this is the device manager on the computer, which has got one keyboard, which of course is the keyboard on the computer. If I now carefully plug this in, this is all connected to the Arduino uh, through this makeshift USB uh, interface. It's using virtual USB uh, drivers running on the main uh, processor. Now it's just just updated there so we've now got two keyboards uh, on the screen. If I bring up good old notepad and press the little button here it will give us a, a number which is 408218. Uh, now if I press that again because it's just changed it will give us uh, three, uh, sorry, 838036 which is 838 036. So the phone and, and the, what it's typing in should always marry up because they're, they're using the same secret, they're based on the same code. Right, so now if we go to the login screen, this is actually a login to a test blog of mine, test user, the password I've pre entered, so I don't need to do it now. Uh, and I'm going to now press the button. This will be a bit quick, in fact, because it'll press enter and should hopefully log in. So if I pull back here and go three, two, one, press the button. Uh, and it's told me the code's wrong. I'll try that again. Uh, uh, it's probably because my clocks are all slightly out. Press it again. Bingo, in there we go. So uh, second time lucky there. Hopefully by the end of the day, I will get this uh, reduced down in size. I've, I've got various uh, components to do that, make it actually a practical thing. But uh, this is where I am at the minute. And uh, hey, I've got a few hours to go before the deadline. So who knows what's gonna happen. Okay, see you later.